going to invite you to sit forward on your chair. And the feet maybe sits bone width apart, maybe a little bit wider, whatever really feels comfortable. And it might feel good to actually reach underneath the glutes and lift the gift, getting those sits bones to rest a little more firmly on the chair. Most of the practice we're gonna to do today is seated. So finding a really nice seat, sitting forward on the chair, spine nice and long, heart lifted, jaw soft, we begin as we always do with breath. Just allowing ourselves to arrive in this moment by following the breath in and out. And simply notice the breath. Notice perhaps the ease of the breath moving in and out of the body. Or maybe noticing that it's a little bit challenging. Just simply bringing attention to the breath. And we'll check back in with that at the end of our practice today because as we warm up our neck, our shoulders, our rib cage, you might be pleasantly surprised to discover how breath can change when we do simple movements. Let's really calm everything down with a four square breath. That's four counts in on the in-breath. Pause and hold for a four count. Exhale for a four count. Pause, emptied out for a four count. The count is in your hands. So this should always feel comfortable. So a four count on the inhale and a hold, a four count on an exhale and a hold. And we cycle through that. And as we're doing this breath pattern, Perhaps notice how you sink a little more deeply into the pelvis as it rests on the chair. You might notice the shoulders relax a little bit. You might notice the tight jaw loosening. And then we return, when you've completed that cycle, we return to our natural breath, just the rhythm and pace of our breath without any extra effort. We're gonna start with a nice neck stretch today. And as I prepared to do this, I noticed that I want to lean a little bit forward on my chair onto the front of my sits bones. That's not necessary. I'm doing it because I find it makes my spine a little more vertical. I'm gonna take my right hand and hold underneath the seat on the right side. And I'm gonna tip my head to the left, the ear coming toward the shoulder. 
pause here. And allow this stretch to deepen. Notice your feet. So bring your breath or your imagination or your sensibility into your feet as you're doing this. And maybe notice that the head, the neck softens just a little bit when we start breathing into our feet. This may be enough today. If you'd like a little more, we're gonna weight the head. I'm not pulling the head. I'm just bringing the left hand to hold the side of the head. You'll notice that begins to deepen just a little bit. You don't have to pull, just adding weight. And then notice if you did that, did the right shoulder want to lift? Let the right shoulder drop just a little bit. Feel the feet on the ground. Breathe here, softening, melting the shoulder on the right side down. We're gonna slide the hand or bring the hand to rest on the cheek on the left side and we're gonna press the head up to center. Hands come back to rest on the knee, on the lap. Now notice your breath. Notice the breath on the right side and the left side. And is there any difference with that simple stretch? Do you notice any difference? Switching sides, the left hand holds the side of the chair. And now we take the ear on the right side toward the right shoulder, pausing when it gets tight. Remember, we don't strain or force, that's not helpful. And we pause here and you might notice on this side that things soften maybe a little quicker, maybe not. Notice the feet, sense into the feet, feel the feet. And then if it feels good, that right hand can come to rest on the side of the head, only if it feels good. You know, the tendency is to pull here or pressure Really, we're just looking for the extra weight of the hand. Let the right shoulder melt down. Maybe the heart lifts a little bit. We're breathing. And then keeping the head where it is, we release the hand or bring the hand to the cheek and press the head up. Open the arms, interlace the fingers, press to the ceiling. If that's too much for your shoulders, the arms can come forward, but the action is to press. The heart is lifted. And then we release the hands coming now to shoulder rolls. We're gonna start with the right shoulder. It draws up toward the ear, slides back and down, and then comes forward again, up, back, and down. Notice how the pelvis rocks when we do this. So instead of just isolating the shoulder, we're feeling all the places in our body that are cooperating with this action. So the pelvis, the feet, the head, the torso, everything moves here. Everything is in action. And then we pause and we switch directions. 
The breath is moving, warming up the shoulders. And pause, switch sides. Shoulder comes up, back and down. And then forward, up, back and down. We're doing this slowly. There's no rush here. We're thoroughly lubricating that shoulder joint as we recognize all the other parts of our body that are joining this action. And we pause, come forward with the shoulder. So part of what we can talk about is all of these practices are things that could be done easily throughout the day for just a minute or a half a minute, pausing, we come to breath again. Take the right ear toward the right shoulder. Allow the chin to turn toward the shoulder. Then scoot the chin across the collarbone, looking down. The chin comes to the opposite side. When we get there, we're going to tip the ear again toward the shoulder. And we're going to bring the right hand to press the head up. A gentle look to the right and a gentle look to the left. Now connect this with the feet. When we're looking to the right, press into the left. And when we look to the left, we press into the right. And then we come back to center. We're gonna bring our hands now to rest. I'm gonna turn my chair sideways. You would leave your chair where it is. We're gonna bring our arms up onto the top of the chair and interlace the fingers. If that doesn't feel good, doesn't feel good to me so much today, I'm gonna to hold the back edge of my chair and Scooting forward again so that we're right on the sits bones. We're drawing the shoulder blades together. The head lifts slightly. Remember, we do our best to avoid dropping the head back. And what we're looking for is that space between the shoulder blades and the upper back that gets so stretched and overstretched and unhappy. And we breathe. We're going to breathe about 10 breaths here. So settle in wherever you are. And you might notice after a few breaths that all of a sudden things start to feel a little looser. And then slowly come out of that. Slide the hands to rest on the kneecaps. And now we're going to arch the, that spot in the back. So we're looking for the space between the shoulder blades. We're pausing with breath here. And rocking forward just a little bit, press into the kneecaps, come back to a neutral posture, releasing the pressure on the kneecaps now.
We're going to walk our legs to the left side now. So we're sitting diagonally on the chair. So we've turned our knees to a diagonal. We're going to hold the back of the chair. If that's too deep a twist, the hands can come to rest on the outside of the left thigh. Otherwise, if it feels good, we're going to take that back of the chair. And as we do this, let your shoulder blades drop down. So a lot of times when we get into postures, we draw our ears up, our shoulders up toward our ear. They're dropping down. We're going to be here for about 10 breaths. Maybe press into the left heel here. Excuse me, the right heel or the left heel. Yes, the left heel, that's right. Press there. And then gently unwind. Walk the feet back to center. Pause here. And notice the breath. Notice the breath on the right side and the left side and see if they're the same or if one is a little more clearly felt. Walking the feet now to the right side, we come onto that diagonal. Again, the hands can rest on the outside of the right thigh or on the back of the chair. And we gently release the shoulder blades. And we might notice it's a little bit different on one side than the other. And we're pressing into the outside of the right heel. So press into the heel. That's going to lift the heart, drop the shoulders, melt the shoulders, and breathe. Breathing here. Let the jaw be soft. And then we gently unwind and we make our way back to center. Stay seated for now. We're gonna take our feet now wide, maybe as wide as the mat. And we're gonna bring our torso toward our thighs. Maybe the belly can rest on the thighs, maybe they don't. The arms can rest on the outside of the legs if that feels good. We're letting the head relax. If you'd like a little more, you can grasp your wrists or your elbows between the legs. And then we release our hands. Let's hinge up, nice flat back, pressing ourselves to seated. Walk the feet into about hip width apart, sits bone width apart.
Let's do a figure eight with the shoulders. And reverse. And pause. Notice the breath as it moves in and out of the body. Is there more clarity in the breath? Perhaps you hear my little dog snoring in the corner. <laughs> We're gonna bring this to standing. So to do that, we walk our feet back toward the chair. We come onto the ball mounds of the feet. We let the arms dangle. The head comes up last here. So we drop the heels, press into the heels and slowly rise by pressing into the floor. And the head comes up last. And just notice how this, your standing feels now. We're gonna turn the palms toward the wall behind and we're gonna extend the arms, draw the shoulder blades together, the heart lifts, the head lifts. So we lift the chin without dropping the head back. So this is a version of the seated one where the arms were resting either on the top of the seat back or holding the back of the chair. And we let, release and we shake it out. Take the shake all the way into the feet. We're gonna float that right arm up, press into the right foot. We're gonna let the right side of the pelvis go a little bit toward the right side. We're looking for the stretch in the side body. So we're getting into the rib cage here. If this having the arm here doesn't feel good, move it forward just until it does, until the body says, okay, we can do that or you could touch the back of your neck and the elbow points toward the ceiling. If your elbow's pointed toward the ceiling, you're gonna bring that left hand to hold the elbow. If your arm is extended, we're gonna take the left hand to hold the right wrist. We're pulling on the side body. And it's not about bending to the left side, it's about stretching the right side. So you find your stretch here. Keep the breath moving. One more lovely breath. We're gonna keep the arms up and then we're gonna switch hands. So now it's the left hand to the sky right wrist holding it or left hand touches the back of the shoulders. We're looking for the side stretch. So we're keeping everything long as we allow the left hip to press gently to the left. And we're tractioning that arm for extra awakening in the rib cage. And then we come back to center and we fold, bend the knees, bring the hands to the shins, let the head be in alignment with the spine press the sits bones to the wall behind, 
Breathe here. Then bringing the hands right above the knees onto the thighs, and a hinge up. And we're gonna come back to seated. So find your seating posture forward on the chair, feet on the floor, sits bone or hip width apart, whatever feels best for you. And we come back to our breath. Is there any difference now from the first breath we paid attention to today and now? And we settle into Shavasana. Today's message is from Gandhi. And don't we all need a little more peace in our lives? His message. As human beings, our greatness lies not so much in being able to remake the world. It lies in our ability to remake ourselves. We open our arms wide as we gather all the blessings that already exist and we draw them in appreciation and gratitude into our hearts. And together we all say, Namaste.